Welcome back. In this unit, we're going to work on testing. We've made a lot of progress. Don't give up. We'll have the whole server done soon. You can see there's a folder here called test. We're going to write our tests in this folder. In channel.dart, we set up a config file to set up our database before. If you go to config.yaml, you can see it there. We don't want to run our tests on the actual database, though. If you go to config.src.yaml, this is where we're going to set up our database configuration for the testing. Let me copy it from the other config file. The host and port will stay the same, but we'll set up a special username password and database just to run the tests on. I'll call the username dart. The password will also be dart. And the database name will be dart underscore test. Let's create that database now. I'm going to go into PostgreSQL, typing PSQL, and then Postgres. First, let's list the databases. You can see there's one there called Words, our Words database. We'll need to create a new one. But next, let's list the users. Backslash du. And you can see I have our Words user for our database. We'll need to create a new user also. So to create the database, I'll do create database. Our database name is dart test. Don't forget the semicolon. And our database is created. Next, we'll create the user. To do that, type create user. Our username is dart with, and then the privilege. We want our user to be able to create a database but not do other things create db semicolon and we've created that user next we're going to give the password to that user so type alter user dart with password and our password is also dart in single quotes add a semicolon okay we've added the password now let's connect that user to our password so write grant all on database dart test to dart semicolon. So that gives the dart user access to the dart test database. All right, that's all set up in PostgreSQL now. Let's check the list of databases by typing backslash L. And you can see there at the top we have the dart test database. Next, let's list the users by typing backslash du, and you can see we have the Dart user. Great. You can exit out of PostgreSQL by typing backslash q. Open up the test folder. You can see there's a harness and example. The example we don't need anymore. It was for the example route, which we don't have anymore. We're going to create a new file. So right click, go to new file. And this will be testing the words controller. So call it words underscore controller underscore test dot dart. All test files should end in underscore test. Now let's copy the code from example test.dart. Paste it in there, but I don't need that test. I'll just leave the harness. Go to that file. It's in the harness folder, app.dart. And since we're using a PostgreSQL database in our server, we're going to have to add some extra functionality so that Aqueduct 
can set up the database every time we run the tests. We can do that with a mix-in that Aqueduct provides. Type test harness ORM mixin. We can add the missing override to get the context, the manage context. Replace null with channel dot context. Channel refers to our Dart server channel, which you can see in the channel.dart file. The Dart server channel, and it has a member variable called context, which includes the data model, the words data model, and our database. Let me delete these comments. Now every time we run our tests, we want to start on a fresh database with nothing in it. In the onSetup method, type await reset data. This will clear the database for every test and set up our schema so that everything is fresh. We won't have any old state affecting the tests. We don't need the example test anymore. Let's delete it. All right, everything is set up now for the tests. In the next few lessons, I'll show you how to make them.